1975, Hackney boss Len Silver persuaded the powers that be in Poland to allow Zenon Plek to join my beloved Hawks in East London. The impact the 22-year-old Polish wonder kid made is something none of us who had the great fortune to see him in action will ever forget. On the track, he was fearless and an absolute thrill to watch. Away from it, he has always been one of the most humble and likeable blokes you could ever wish to meet. 40 years after Zenon first rode in England, I was very privileged to interview one of my boyhood heroes for Backtrack magazine. As you will see, he's still the same lovely person that made him such a great favourite with fans, teammates and rivals alike. Zenon is driving me to the mini track facility, which he helped to build within the main speedway stadium at Gdansk. It's here where we chatted for a few hours about the fascinating life and times of a Polish track legend. Coffee? Yes, please. Zenon saw no danger. He would dive in where others would back off. He would never back off. With Zenon, he's a little bit unpredictable, but we always seem to have an understanding when we were out there as we knew where each other would be, you know, and yeah. His impact on the meeting, well both of them, but, but particularly Zanon, his impact on the meeting, people almost 40 years on still talk about. Um, his, his 73 world final was exciting. This was even more so, arguably. Um, he won four of his five races and got a puncture in the other one. Otherwise he would have swept aside a field that was of virtual world final stature. And the, the one race that etched itself in the memory above all others was um, when he, he messed up a start completely. The riders are disappearing into the first corner before he's even got off the grid virtually. And leading the pack is, is Olsen who was running really hot at the time. And he picked him off, including Ollie, inside about a lap. It was one of the most unbelievable pieces of, of excitement that I've ever seen and, and the place went ballistic and we we would have liked very much to have to have got him to Kings Lynn but the, the, the temperature for getting Polish riders in um, at that time was not all that favourable and for a Saturday night track you know not really a, a mm. runner but they still love him there that's for sure. So Zenon Fleck looking very comfortable. Bobby Schwartz in second place. In third place, it's Peter Collins. And still, Michael Lee not looking too happy. To look back on your career, Zenon, you were a great rider for Poland. Um, Pol Poland's probably greatest rider before Thomas Kolo came along in the new era. Uh, you were second once, you were third once in the world final. Um, and you were Polish champion many times. Do you look back on your career with a lot of satisfaction or with any regret at all? Yeah, I had, I think, you know, I done everything possible and, you know, uh, I believe, you know, I've been 
good rider for the watch and you know I put my heart for my racing and I racing always 100% no excuse sometimes it's been accidents sometimes you know crashes but this is the speedway and uh, probably maybe be better if I start be racing in England just after 73 um, but I thank you to all my friends I thank you to Len Silver who bring me to England uh, to you know look after myself and what can I say this all just lots of good memories yeah from your time as a rider yeah because actually in England you know all supporters all fans have been fantastic Hjælpfarver, Jan Slash is a long way back. The Zenith Black is stretching them and going away. 